Blue Peter, we're ruling the roost at Doctor Who. We really are. We take Blue Peter designer TARDIS console competition winner Susanna on a guided tour of Doctor Who to see her winning entry turned from an idea on paper into a TARDIS console for this series of Doctor Who. Come on, Blue Peter again. Woohoo! Okay, from freaks to aliens. Back in 2009, we launched a Doctor Who competition. We asked you to design a console for the TARDIS that would feature in an actual Doctor Who episode. Now, thousands of you entered, but there could only be one winner. So let's see what the life-size console actually turned out like. We asked you to send in designs for a new console for a Doctor Who TARDIS, and you did in your thousands. The overall winner would get to see their design brought to life for the current series and be part of Doctor Who history. We had some amazing entries that made it very difficult for our judging panel to select the winner. The judges were Edward Thomas, a Doctor Who production designer. That would look great on camera with the light bulbs up and down the side. Executive producer Stephen Moffat. Mm. Just, just dramatically, it's visually yeah. good. You know, that would, that would look cool. And Blue Peter editor Tim Lavelle. I think that is really so clever. After much deliberation, these were our winners. Joshua from Gwent was the winner of the six to sevens age group. Lauren from County Down won the eight to tens. And Susanna from Lancashire was the winner of the eleven to twelves. Well, there could only be one console made, and it was Matt Smith, the Doctor himself, that picked Susanna's design as our overall winner. This cracker is our winner. Well done. Hello, Susanna. 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 Andy surprised Susanna in February last year to tell her she'd won. Susanna next into Blue Peter. Well, we liked it. Susanna. <laughs> Congratulations, Susanna. But now the time has come to see the winning design made and filmed for the latest episode of Doctor Who. First up, Susanna and I meet Michael, the production designer in charge of making the TARDIS console. It's my job to sort out the sets and the locations and the props and everything that really appears on the screen in, in Doctor Who. So what did you think of Susanna's design? Well, I thought it was wonderful. It's rather like as the TARDIS is. It's full of all sorts of bits and pieces that do all sorts of different jobs. I like the, um, the keyboard, it's rather fun. And the skipping rope was, I thought, was quite entertaining. It was unusual, but, you know, but maybe that was around when, when you need it, because this TARDIS gets put together in an emergency, you see, if he has to escape. So when you're making this for TV, where do you start? Well, the first stage, as you see, we turn it into a sort of like a 3D concept from, from the sketch drawings, and you then have to pick what will fit, and that's when we make these little sections here. These are the size that it's actually got to fit on. You arrange it, you know, in principle on here, but then you come across to see the angles of everything and how high and low it is, and you start screwing things on, drilling holes, putting wires in, and as you even started here with some of the lights. Time's ticking, so Michael and his team get on with constructing the design, leaving me to catch up with Susanna. So what made you enter in the first place? Well, I was at my grandma's house and I saw it on Blue Peter and I thought, well, I like Doctor Who, so I might enter that one. And then I did. You've got so many different things on there and, you know, sort of random ideas like using the telephone wires to make tea and coffee. Well, I just sort of walked around my house and said, saw what everyone was doing. Everything can have, like, 101 things that you could do with it. You just have to pick the right one. How do you think you'll feel when you see your design on an actual episode of Doctor Who. It's going to be great. I'll be gobsmacked. A week after our visit, we're at a top secret quarry location which has been transformed into a creepy alien junk planet ready for tonight's shoot. And here it is, Susanna's finished TARDIS console. As night falls, the Doctor Who team add the last-minute touches to Susanna's design. But before she arrives, I get the verdict from the man who calls the shots on set, the director. So you kind of rule the roost, don't you? You call the shots. Sort of. When we're filming, I, 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 I'm in charge. 
I talked to the actors, work out what to do, work out together where to place them. Then we have to work out um, what shots to do, how to, what we say, cover the scenes. And then I have to work out how to do it in very little time. We came here, obviously, to see Susanna's yes. TARDIS design. I've had a good look at it. I like the shower attachment. I think that's, uh, I think that's rather special. Uh, I like the shaving mirror. I think that's rather good. I'm voting for my favourite bit Which being the yours? skipping rope. The skipping I haven't seen the skipping rope. Oh, yeah, it's disguised that's, as some sort of That's genius. Of there it is. What do you very think? Very good. Looks very good. This is Susanna's moment, her TARDIS design made into reality. <laughs> it's well cool. I think she likes it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. The coat hanger. So what was that for again? What did you want that to...? Start the TARDIS. Oops, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> good. Is it like you imagined all those months ago when you were in your bedroom doing that drawing? No, it's probably better. In what ways? Um, I don't know. It just looks real. Susanna, congratulations. Not many people can say that they've designed something that's been on Doctor Who. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to remember it forever. We need to get off set because it's time to record the TARDIS. Your job is done. Oh, look at there. Seven, five, take one. And action. No, no, hang on. Wait. Right. Did you think they'd got those robes on? There's like sort of seatbelts. No, oh, that's really cool. It's like a swing. <laughs> OK. Right. Let's go. Follow that TARDIS. Got it? Good, good, good. Matt? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. No worries. Checking it Susanna, out. Check it out. Matt, Matt, Susanna. Let's look at it. It's brilliant. What a, uh, what a wonderful thing to have achieved. And you've got an orange badge, which I'm a bit jealous of. But still, competition winner. Rightly so. What's your favourite part? Keyboard. Definitely the keyboard. Well, play us a tune. Sing uh, along. Yeah, I, mean, I sort of wish I could. I know that's a C right there. There can't be many people that have designed a TARDIS. You go down in history. Uh, you should be very proud. I am. Yeah. Like that you are. Cut. Excellent. Do you realise that whole scene is all about the TARDIS? Yeah. Not even seen the whole episode. Yeah. Is that my TARDIS? How proud do you feel? I'm very proud. to us down at Doctor Who. They really do make good hosts, so thank you very much. But do you know what? what? We've got some more impressive news for Susanna. Her design was so good that the bosses decided to make it into a Doctor Look Who that. toy. Look, her name's on the box, alongside Blue Peter competition winner. That is cool. Yeah, yeah, it's such a cool thing. thing. Yeah. If you want to see this toy in action, all you've got to do is watch Doctor Who this week. Or you could watch a clip that we've got for you, wouldn't I? Oh, we could be. There you go. Now we've got even more Doctor Who fun for you now because there's a writing competition that's going to be running in schools all across the country. If you want more details, head over to the Blue Peter website where the Doctor himself will be there to give you some tips and you'll be able to write your very own Doctor Who episode. I really like Matt Smith. Do you? Do you? He's good, isn't he? 